guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand and with the Snyder Cut coming out in a week. There are a lot of people really pumped up for this movie. I'm excited to see what Zack Snyder finally puts out, how well it does, and just exactly... I've already seen the ending scene and, and some in between, but I am excited to see how the whole thing is scoped and how it is done. Now, I do want to talk about the rumors that are now coming out and I knew this was happening and I knew that this was going to be an issue with the Snyder Cut fans because something was given to them but yet it's not going to be enough. Now originally at least from my understanding with the whole Snyder Cut movement was that Zack should get to finish his trilogy and that means uh, Batman vs. Superman, and of course, Man of Steel, and this would be the third. It would round out that trilogy, and you would have your nice vision, and it would be complete. We even seen people saying from Warner Brothers that it was a cul-de-sac. It was a one and done, right? But now, of course, that's not enough. I, I called this months ago, but what we're seeing now is people, and by people, I mean scoopers that don't do a very good job, of scooping. Now, I have had issue with Grace Randolph the entirety of this channel. I actually made a video apologizing at one point because I believed something she said and I reported on it. Now, she's coming out in a since deleted tweet saying I had a wonderful evening watching a certain movie. Oh, <laughs> we don't know what that is. Also, I'm hearing exciting things from multiple sources. Justice League 2 and 3 might now be possible. Some suits want Zack Snyder to direct Wonder Woman 3, which I think is an excellent idea. The hype is real. Don't let up now. All right. I want to talk about Grace's scoops from the past, specifically starting with the one I apologized on was the Kathy Yan issue. She reported that there was actually, when it comes to the Birds of Prey movie, dick pics in the diamond. Yes, it makes no sense. It doesn't even fit what we actually saw. As much as I don't personally care for that movie, it was okay. But I came out and said, you know what? I, I believed her. I made videos on it. I'm sorry. Now, we also seen her say that Wonder Woman was going to be the original Wonder Woman. That is a dismal box office. We now know otherwise. We seen her say that it was going to be a Flashpoint type movie. We now know otherwise. What is the point of giving someone their trilogy vision if you're going to take it away then after from somebody else? Now, Patty Jenkins did a phenomenal job with Wonder Woman number one, right? Now, when it came to Wonder Woman 1984, I know a lot of people did not care for it. I personally thought it was great. But regardless, she should be able to finish her vision. Should she not get the same respect that Warner Brothers gave to the others fandom, for one, the Zack Snyder fandom, and Zack Snyder himself, and I think he was do it. But by taking it away from one and giving it to the other, you are showing that you never cared about a vision. And that's the most hypocritical thing in this whole entire fandom. It was always about Zack's vision. Was it was it though? Because now you're willing to take it away from somebody else. And I think that's really crappy. I think um, Grace is honestly lying. She says a lot of things. She really has a hate boner for Jeff Johns. And she um, defames him all the time. She's called him a psychopath and much, much worse. She's reported that he will lose his job and he has not. He's actually the executive producer on Superman and Lois. Phenomenal job. Phenomenal show, widely loved, and well done. Same thing with Stargirl. Everything he touches, at, for the most part, when it comes to DC properties, are very well done. But she thinks he's a psychopath who, oh God, there was so much um, that she's defamed about him. But um, regardless, we're not talking about Jeff Johns. We're talking about Patty Jenkins. She and Zack Snyder are friends. Why would... They do that to each other. It doesn't make sense. I get some people will stab each other in the back when it comes to that kind of a thing. I get it. But I don't see that in this situation. Now, we've already known within days of Wonder Woman 1984 releasing that Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot 
we're on for number three. Okay, that's already been confirmed. What hasn't been confirmed and what is uh, rumor after rumor from Grace Randolph is the fact that she thinks Zack Snyder is willing and going to take over for Wonder Woman. Well, she actually deleted this original tweet and that's what I find hilarious um, because it's ridiculous. She, um, I don't know why she did it unless it was just because she thought she was being rude, but she did then put out just to reiterate, I'm hearing exciting things from multiple sources via the Snyder Cut. Justice League 2 and 3 might now be possible. Some suits when Zack Snyder direct Wonder Woman 3, which I think is an excellent idea. She basically just took out the part where she said she was watching the Snyder Cut. And um, of course, she is going to get it to review it. She has been basically the backbone of that movement for a long time now. If Zack Snyder wants damage control like he did the other day when it was leaked. And yes, I do believe Warner Brothers leaked that. And I thought it was a really, really dirty move. Like, that's not cool at all. You don't do that. You don't do it at all. Um, unfortunately, I can't. I cannot stay away from leaks. If they're out there, I want to know. So I had to see him. Well, regardless, um, you know, she can't say that. She can say whatever she wants about Justice League 2 and 3. But when you have things that precede her, like her attitude towards certain people in the company, the way she is with DC almost all the time, and the fact that we've seen her lie and lie again and double down. Does anybody else remember the Pedro Pascal incident? That wasn't that long ago. So this happens over and over and over with her. Or she'll do things where it's like, hey, I heard, I heard that Amber Heard was going to be um, possibly, possibly scaled back and that they might bring a new person on depending on the trial, how the trial goes. Because that simply makes it okay for her to go, oh, okay, well, the trial went really good. So Amber Heard's here to say, or the trial went really bad. So they're writing her out. She has a dog in both races, if you see what I mean about that. So I think this is all nonsense. I think this is a way to get Snyder Bronies basically um, uh, not harassing, <laughs> being passionate again. We'll say that. Um, hopefully, once this is all said and done, I am going to watch it. I am going to review it and I will do a separate live stream on it. I can't wait till it's over. I can't wait to stop hearing all of these uh, obviously lies now, of course, um, anything is possible of course there is that one in a million chance that it could happen but one thing you also have to add in there is the fact that we already know that Tanasi Coates and JJ Abrams are on the new Superman he will not be Henry Cavill and he will be a person of color where does that fit in with the Snyderverse it doesn't see why none of this makes sense it's simply her inciting this fandom to be more and more vocal. And you'll see it in the comments below. But regardless, it's worse on stuff like Twitter and all that, which I have no use for. But I find it funny. Oh, she's so pathetic. Anyways, so let me know, of course, what you guys think about all of this. Let me know if you think it's real in the comments below. There's no way we already have confirmation of the exact opposite from Warner Brothers themselves. Not a two-bit scooper who couldn't make it as a comic book writer. Just saying. Anyways, let me know, of course, what you guys think. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.